بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دس نیو ویڈیو ٹوٹوریل اینڈ دس ٹوٹوریل آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈیمانسٹریٹ ٹو دیٹ ہاؤ یو کین سیمولیٹ اے سمپل تھری ڈی بلاسٹ ان این سیز ورک بینچ سو آئی ایم یوزنگ دا ایکسپلیسڈ ڈائنامک سو دیر از اے پراپر پروسیس فار سیمولیٹنگ دا بلاسٹ سو دا فسٹ تھنگ از ٹو ڈیفائن یور مٹیریل سو آئی ہیو کلک آن دا مٹیریل اینڈ ہیئر یو کین سی دا ڈفرینٹ آپشن so i'm i will use uh, the explicit material because i'm using the explicit dynamics so i will fix some material from here just to open it it, it will take some time for loading so just wait for this and so the material has loaded and now so here you can see the different type of material so i have added this c4 material and when you want to add a material just click on this uh, plus sign so the material will be added to your project so this was the about adding material here you can search for the different types of material and you can uh, model a material here as well so this was about the Uh, engineering data are defining your material then the next thing is to find the geometry or match the geometry so just double click on this uh, geometry tab it will take some time and finally here you can see our geometry has loaded this is i have already made the geometry just i am demonstrating you that uh, how the different components are so this is the wall and here this is the uh, footing footing provided for the wall and here this whole box is the explosive charge so i you can suppress this and hide this so now you can clearly see the geometry of the wall and the footing you can model any kind of geometry for your project the geometry modeling is very simple so here you can see the different option in the sketch and uh, then you can model the geometry and the next thing is the this model tab so here open this and here we will be assigning the different materials to the geometry and we will uh, we will assign different uh, solution modes like eulerian and lagrangian lagrangian is usually used for the solids and eulerian virtual is usually used for the liquid or fluids so here this is the geometry here you can explore all of these i have hided this you can show the body so the explosive are now visible so hide it back and uh, this is that geometry that you have model in the previous step and this is now the model so here you can explore for the meshing and different thing if you want to make a mesh so here you can uh, see this uh, mesh option just click on this and uh, generate uh, then right click and click on the generate mesh or you can define here your default size of the mesh element so here you can explore for the different uh, options available this is the analysis tab and here you can see the different things so this is the end time this is point uh, 4 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 this is the other time and here you can see the time step Uh, factor fact, safety factor so i have uh, choose this as a 0.5 so here you can see for the output control so the out number of output uh, point is 20 if you choose this uh, higher value 
then uh, it will give a better result but uh, it will take a large time for the solution here are the x and y factor for the eulerian domain here you can see these uh, black lines these are made actually from dots and this x and y scale factor usually um, define the boundary of your explosion that when the ex uh, explosive bursts so to how much extent that will spread out so these actually show the boundaries now let's uh, define the detonation point that where uh, our detonation will start so i have kept this uh, at a certain distance from the wall but uh, remember that this will be inside the volume of uh, defined eulerian and here you can see uh, you can change this uh, the you can move upward downward or along any axis the so the detonation point can be placed anywhere but it sh should be in this uh, defined box or boundary here i have uh, provided um, fixed support to this base just click on that face and select the face and then assign a fixed support to this and the output that i want in my solution are the shear stress and these equivalent uh, stress and the, this is the uh, total deformation so you can add other properties here as well and after you define these all things then uh, just you have to right click on this uh, solution and then solve so at that moment your solution will start and it will take uh, time that depend on the efficiency of your uh, system so here you can see the final results for this fourth quantity the solution is not available because i have not run the solution for this i have just run for the first three so you can see the result for the first three and you can run the simulation from here as well and you can also export a video of this simulation as well here the option is available on the upper tab of this graph so here you can see the results and everything for all these output parameters that you required from your solution so from here you can also change the contour style you can move it to the smooth style and you can see for the different uh, available options the last thing that i forgot to explain or demonstrate to you is that the assignment of material to the different geometry and the reference frame so for this the reference frame is uh, available as lagrangian and eulerian so for the footing that is a solid i will use the lagrangian and here i have assigned the material concrete to the footing and also to the wall and for this final box i will assign the material as uh, c4 and the reference frame for this c4 will be the eulerian virtual because this is a fluid and this will behave as a fluid because different gases are generated here in the form of a pressure wave so i hope you have you would like this uh, presentation thank you for watching allah hafiz